As a leading global provider of integrated avionics solutions, Honeywell remains focused on supporting our customer success in the marketplace. We have created this series of videos to help you prepare for the trouble-free installation and maintenance of your Honeywell Primus Epic Integrated Avionics System and to provide you with essential handling information that will ensure top product performance and maximum reliability. This segment will give you an overview of the new features offered by the Primus Epic in addition to information on its two major components, the modular avionics unit and the modular radio cabinet. In subsequent videos, you will learn the significance of preventing electrostatic discharge, how to package, ship, and store the components safely, and the proper methods for installation and removal of Primus Epic modules. The new Honeywell Primus Epic system differs markedly from its predecessor, the Primus 2000. Based on a federated system where all functional software is unique to its associated hardware, the Primus 2000 is heavier and requires more space. In contrast, Honeywell's new Primus Epic system utilizes modular architecture to provide an unprecedented level of functional and physical integration capabilities in a single cabinet. Referred to as a distributive system, MAU module processors utilize software that delivers multiple functions, allowing the hardware design to be lighter and require less space than the Primus 2000. Lighter, more energy efficient, and able to meet higher standards of performance and reliability, Primus Epic offers its users maximum flexibility in module content in addition to upgrade and growth capabilities. The Primus Epic includes two major components, the Modular Avionics Unit, or MAU, and the Modular Radio Cabinet, or MRC. Both feature easy to add and easy to replace modules. Simply put, an MAU is a hardware cabinet that serves as a modular card rack. It mounts within the aircraft's electronic equipment racks, EERs, and houses line replaceable modules, LRMs. These LRMs are the building blocks of the EPIC system. LRMs include redundant power supplies, a network interface controller, or NIC, input-output devices, processors, and other special function modules. The MAU was designed with identical slots for ease of manufacture, system scalability, and upgrade potential. Modules can be either single or dual slot. A dual slot module contains two circuit cards which are sandwiched together to take up two MAU slots. All the aircraft interconnect wiring is handled using type D subconnectors located on the front panel of each individual plug-in module, eliminating the need for external connectors on the MAU cabinet itself. MAUs are available in different sizes and types to accommodate the varying needs of different aircraft. Some MAU cabinets incorporate field replaceable fans. All modules within the MAU, excluding the power supply, air management, and GPS modules, are connected together using a 32-bit wide parallel backplane bus called the Virtual Backplane Peripheral Component Interconnect for EPIC systems. Utilizing multiple MAUs, the Virtual Backplane provides the interconnection for all MAU modules within the system. The Virtual Backplane accomplishes this by providing a gateway for module information to pass to and from the Avionic Standard Communications Bus, or ASCB version D. ASCBD allows 15 times more throughput as compared to version C as used in Primus 2000 systems. Each MAU contains a network interface controller module, the NIC. The NIC module allows all module data within the MAU or MAUs, including input-output, to be available to any other module or ASCBD unit in the entire EPIC system. Each MAU module connects to the virtual backplane through a standard hardware interface called the backplane interface controller. BIC hardware contained on each MAU module provides a standard data buffer interface which is accessed by software residing in the individual MAU modules. Typical MAU modules include power supply module, network interface controller, input-output modules, database module, central maintenance computer module, advanced graphics module, video graphics module, enhanced ground proximity warning module, global positioning system module, and video module. In addition to these modules, air management modules are used to populate vacant slots. These modules are designed to direct the airflow inside the MAU. MAUs may also host third-party modules, such as nose wheel steering modules, fuel modules, electronic braking control modules, 
landing gear control and indication modules, and engine vibration monitoring modules. The MAU should not be powered up unless each slot is populated with its corresponding module. Because Primus Epic hardware is highly sensitive to electrostatic discharge, ground jack plug-ins are provided on the front of the MAU chassis for maintenance personnel to connect the wrist straps. Please review the ESD Concepts video for an in-depth discussion of preventing ESD damage to the system. The second major component of the Honeywell Primus Epic system is the modular radio cabinet, the MRC. Instead of the former standalone units, Honeywell digital radios are now combined into a single cabinet as line replaceable modules. The MRC utilizes front-mounted D-sub, BNC, TNC, and Triax connectors and communicates to the rest of the EPIC system through the ASCBD and LAN networks. The MRC uses a network interface module, NIM, as its common interface to the ASCBD as compared to the MAU utilization of the NIC interface. The NIM provides a high-integrity method for MRC to interface to ASCBD, allowing the exchange of data between ASCBD and the MRC radio modules. The MRC houses up to six individually removable modules. Module types include Automatic Direction Finder Module, Distance Measuring Equipment Module, VITL, which combines the functionality of the Primus 2 NV855 NAV module with a VHF data link. VHF Data Radio Module, which replaces the existing Honeywell Primus 2 TR-855COM, Mode S Transponder, and the Network Interface Module. Unlike MAU modules, MRC modules feature their own dedicated internal power supply. The MRC also contains internal cooling fans. The air intake is from the front, with the exception of the Network Interface Module, which intakes from the bottom, and the exhaust is out the rear. Sensors within each module activate the fans when internal temperatures exceed their preset limits. This concludes our brief overview of the Honeywell Primus EPIC system and its unique attributes. We would like to thank you for taking the time to view this video and hope it provided you with an understanding of the Primus EPIC MAU and MRC components. The next segment in our training series will cover the importance of your role in managing electrostatic discharge when handling Primus Epic components.